You know, before I had even created one video on this channel, I told a friend of mine my plan, and I was obviously super excited about this new vulnerable adventure that I was gonna take, and he said something I'll never forget. He said, what makes you think anyone cares what you have to say? Yeah. Now, he didn't say that in a mean way, that's just the way he talked, but I took it about as well as you would expect me to. I was shocked and hurt and demoralized and embarrassed and insecure. And it made me think, I mean, it got in my head. I started to think, yeah, who am I? I mean, what good can I possibly do? If people only knew how bad of a husband you were in the past, nobody's gonna listen to you. I mean, I would probably just mess things up and make them worse. Why even try? But I did try because thankfully I had other influences in my life who were very encouraging. And this video isn't about me fishing for compliments, so please don't take it that way. This video is about the fact that I stayed friends with that person and I eventually learned more about their life. And guess what? What a shock when it came to light that they had a very critical parent growing up. And that's the point of this video. Words matter. How you talk to each other matters. How you talk to your kids matters. How you talk to yourself matters. It matters a lot. My friend wasn't as much talking to me as he was projecting what he already believed about himself because of what people had told him all his life. What makes you think anyone cares about what you have to say? And some of you had those types of parents, didn't you? Who told you you weren't gonna amount to anything. Who ingrained in you that you aren't good enough. Who made you feel like a burden. Or maybe they didn't say anything and there was just this cloud of distance or disapproval. That changes you, doesn't it? Your childhood was a classroom and you were learning things whether you realize it or not. So let me ask you, what destructive things did you learn? What untrue labels have you believed about yourself because of what someone else said all those years ago? You want a great relationship? You dig down deep and answer that question. I promise you, you will find some of the answers to your relationship issues. Because I need you to know, you're not a burden. You are good enough. You're valuable and lovable and worthy of kindness and respect and love just the way you are. And if someone was critical or emotionally distant or neglectant in your past, you're going to have to work extra hard to build up your own self-worth and self-compassion and love for yourself. You can't be in a healthy, loving relationship with someone else if you aren't in one with yourself. If you don't value yourself, if you don't believe you're worthy of kindness, you won't do enough when you don't get it. And I'm begging you, don't let someone else's words from the past destroy your present, because they can. And I'm not giving them a pass, but they were just believing false things about themselves and projecting them onto you. And the cycle has to stop with you. Meaning you not only don't continue those patterns with other people, but you don't allow their influence in your own body and mind as well. The words they spoke, the way they treated you, wasn't your fault. But healing from it is unfortunately your responsibility. You have to look inward. Do I look to someone else for my self-worth? Do I know what to do when someone doesn't treat me right? Do I feel like it's selfish to require respect in my most intimate relationships? Because for some of you, that needs to be your first lesson in boundaries. When I feel neglected or unappreciated, what do I do? Do I do anything? Do I talk to them about it? Or do I simply abandon myself and my own needs so they won't abandon me? Because I want the best for you. But that can't happen until you want the best for you and start to recognize what patterns in myself and in others don't lead to best. For some of you, you can't have a healthy, mature relationship because you're not willing to give up your unhealthy, immature relationship. Whether you've built up walls around your heart so no one can ever hurt you again, and you refuse to get close or vulnerable with someone else, or maybe you give your heart to someone else too quickly, hoping that maybe if they love it enough, if they truly value it, they can heal some of the wounds from the past. That's not what's best for you either. You deserve healthy, mature love, but that has to start with you. 